Have you guys ever wondered if there is a best time to take the FE exam? Well, based on what my team and I have observed over the last years, they might actually be an advantage of taking it during certain times of the year. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you guys surprising trends that we observed and what they might mean for you. Now, a few years ago, a couple of our students mentioned to me that taking the FE exam might be easier at specific times of the year. And this was actually the first time I'd heard about this. And I remember I told them to just focus on studying and preparing for the test and not worry too much about these theories. But that question really stuck with me. And back then we didn't have enough data to explore it further. Now, fast forward today with over 2000 students in our courses, we're starting to notice some interesting patterns that might actually help us answer this question. Before I share what we observed over the years, I want to give a quick disclaimer. So what I'm about to share with you guys is purely from our observations and speculations. These are not hard facts. Now, with that being said, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. So please share them with us in the comment section below. So here's what we've noticed. More students pass the FE exam during winter and fall than in summer. And this could be due to two main reasons. The first reason is more students take the FE exam during winter and fall. So in winter and fall, we typically hear from about four students every week who tell us that they passed the FE exam and maybe one who didn't. Now, not all students let us know about their results. So it's hard to say how accurate these numbers are, but based on the feedback we receive, this pattern is pretty consistent. Now, why is it that more students pass the FE exam during winter and fall? Well, this could be because of fewer distractions. So winter is usually right after the holidays and not many major events usually happen during this time. Same thing with fall. It's right after the summer vacation and people tend to get back to their regular routine. And so they would start preparing and studying for the FE exam. The second reason we have is the weather. So in many states and even in Canada where they have to take the FE exam, it's cold. And so people tend to spend more time indoors, right? And so it makes it easier for them to just study and focus. So during winter and fall, there are more people, people are more willing to study and spend time preparing for the FE exam than in summer. The other thing we also notice is that when our students fail the FE exam during the fall, because our courses are lifetime access, they study, they continue studying, and then they usually retake it during winter. And so now they have higher chances of passing the FE exam on the second try. Now, real quick, if you guys are preparing for your FE exam right now and you are looking for some good FE problems, make sure that you guys grab our FE book. So we have FE Civil, FE Mechanical, and we're going to launch the FE Other Disciplines soon. And these books, they have over 100 FE problems. And every problem, there is a YouTube link where you can check the step-by-step -step solution. So make sure that you guys grab it and use it to prepare for your FE exam. Now, the second reason why more students pass the FE exam in winter and fall, it might be because fewer college students take the FE exam in fall and winter. So during fall and winter, most college students are back in school. And so they often wait until closer to graduation, which is around May and June, to take the FE exam. And I remember when I was in my senior year, a lot of my classmates waited until closer to graduation to take it. Now, I, on the other hand, waited to take the FE exam until I graduated college. And I'll share with you guys why I did that on another video. Now, why is it not ideal to take the FE exam with recent graduates and college students? Well, because it has to do with the grading system. See, the FE exam is graded on a curve. So this means that your performance is compared to others taking the exam at the same time as you. And so this can make the timing of the exam important. See, if more recent graduates and college students are taking the exam, the 
curve might shift since they tend to score higher because the material is still fresh in their minds. And as a result of that, the average performance of the group increases and it becomes harder to pass if your score falls below the average. And this means that even if you relatively do well in your exam, your chances of passing can be affected by how others perform during the same testing window. Now, while these are just hypotheses, my recommendation to you guys is that you focus on learning the material and prepare for your FE exam. Now, if you build a strong foundation right now for your FE exam, this is going to help you to pass your PE exam as well. And our students have done just that. Now, you can keep these, these theories in mind and you can even test it out. But if you're not ready to take the FE exam during this winter, don't take it. Take the time you need, keep showing up, stay consistent, keep studying and prepare for it and take it when you feel ready. I've had students spend over $600, $800 on just the NCS test fee, okay? So if you need more time, go ahead and take the time you need and take it when you feel prepared. Now, if you want to know how you can study less because you don't have a lot of time, busy life, but you want to learn all the information to pass the FE exam, make sure to check out my last week's video, guys, where I talk about, I share my two strategies that I use myself to study when I'm creating FE courses. So check that out. And then also, if you are looking for courses that will help you learn the material and pass your FE exam faster, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. So that's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.